All right, we're back here. Just about 9.09 is the time on your Wednesday morning. Uh, most Minnesotans know Canterbury Park in Shakopee, but you might not know about a first-of-its-kind program based there that is helping people have better mental health. Sally Mixon is the founder. She is here to tell us more. Sally, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I'm sorry, but we didn't get to ask in early enough for you to bring a horse with you. Which would have <laughs> I been, could have. Which could have been a Minnesota I line. Could have. could have been a first. But uh, tell us a little bit about the organization. Uh, uh, yeah. First of all, the name of it and, and yes. what that, how that all connects. Sure. So yeah. Abijah is the name of my first horse that I ever had. It's Hebrew. It means the Lord oh. is my father. Um, she's just awesome. Um, so that's where that comes from. Okay. Okay. But Abijah's is a mental health organization that incorporates retired racehorses to work with people struggling with trauma. PTSD, things like that. <clears throat> Horse therapy has been something that's been around for a very long time, but it's kind of new to Canterbury, right? Yeah, it's new to Canterbury, and it's also semi-new to use um, retired racehorses, especially ones right off the track. So that's never really been done um, until now. Because often retired racehorses are... Yeah, they're going they, off to live their next yeah, life that they live after, absolutely, they're, yeah. after they're done racing. And a lot of the horses that we use can't be ridden again. Maybe they've broken down or they, you know, they have an injury where they can't jump. So their value oh. really goes down after that. And at Abijah's now they're saving lives. So their value is higher than I think everything. How, how yeah. long has the so. been, program been started? Um, so Abijah's at Canterbury has been around for about three years. Three now. years. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about equine therapy and some of the benefits mm. that people see from this kind of therapy. Absolutely. So this type of therapy is experiential. And trauma, when somebody experiences trauma, it's experiential, meaning your whole body, is your senses are heightened, right? And so experiential therapies kind of combat that trauma, giving them a positive experience. So horses because they're so intuitive, they play, they pick up on what's going on internally and they play that out externally. So rather than talking about your anxiety or your depression, you're seeing it play out before you. So horses might lay down. They might, um, I had, a, I had a, a person where this horse kept kind of tugging at their jacket and they said, this is my PTSD. I can't get away from it. It's big. I can't control it. So they begin to learn and develop, how do you have a, a relationship that's healthy with PTSD, with anxiety? This might sound like a bizarre question, but I yeah. know for people that find a therapist, right? Sometimes you have to go through a couple until you sure. find the one that works with you. <laughs> Does it kind of work that way with horses? Like when people are doing the therapy, yeah. are they going back to the same horse? We they can, or? they can. It, it, the horses truly become characters in their story. It sounds so weird, <laughs> but it, it's amazing. And I see transformation every day. I, I truly see miracles. I know that's a really dramatic word, but people, are, their lives are being saved. Who are we talking about who is benefiting from this type of therapy? Yeah, so at Canterbury Park, we work with the jockeys, grooms, exercise riders, people like that, and struggling with addiction, trauma, all of those things. But then we also work with our military and our first responders. Um, so they're coming in from all different cities around the metro um, seeking hope and healing. And what kind of results are you seeing with... Incredible. The, yeah. Like, incredible. The testimonials will bring you to tears. How, if somebody's out there in the audience right yeah. now and they're wondering, like, wow, this sounds like this could benefit me or someone yeah. someone I know, how would they go about getting involved? With yeah, you? they can reach out to abijas.com um, and then they can email us directly and then we'll set them up. Well, and there's like no insurance, right? Yeah. They don't need to go through a pre-screening as no. far as like you meet qualifications or no. you don't. There's no diagnostic assessment, um, which is really awesome for active first responders. And we did receive state legislation um, funding for active fire and active cop. Um, and so they can come and receive this for free. Um, our, retired act our retired first responders dispatch as well, EMS, we're working on ways where we can try to see them for free or at a reduced cost as well. Do you see expanding this at all into mm -hmm. other segments of the population? I, mean, I have a friend yeah. who has um, horses and they do therapy with high school students. Absolutely. And yeah. is, is that sort of a space where you'd like to see things expand? Yeah, we, we do dabble in that a little bit. Yeah. It, my past is working a lot with, with youth that are struggling as well. Yeah. And so we wanted to kind of find the niche though of you know how to if we're going to be good at something I'll be really good at sure. it right um, and so yes we can work with all different populations and uh, we yeah we see them as well how many horses do you have in the program so we have five now okay. um, 
four are the retired thoroughbreds, and then one is a horse I've had my whole life who's the only one that's not. Do you, Go ahead. Do you feel like the horses enjoy this? Yes. Like, how do yeah. you tell? How can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so funny. When clients come, I swear they're, like, talking to themselves because the, the one that needs to be part of, you know, the session is always the one that comes forward. So I think they're like, okay, our one o'clock's here. Anxiety, you're up. Or fit. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think they're talking. Will you expand on that a little bit um, from a person who rides horses and has yeah. been around horses a lot? Yeah. Uh, I... I I don't know that people really understand that relationship connection. and the intuitiveness yeah. and the connection sure. that horses can have with people. Yeah, well, horses are prey animals. And so you have to realize they are picking up on everything going on. They know when you arrive before you even see them. So that just gives you an idea of how in tune they are with your heartbeat, with smells, with all of those things. And so they can actually read, similar to dogs, right? When mm -hmm. dogs kind of sense stuff. Yeah. Well, horses are that times way more because they're prey. And so they're able to pick up on if someone's sad, if someone's angry, if someone's depressed, and they physically play that out in a way. And a 1,200 pound animal, seeing your story unfold through that is really impactful. That's, that, I yeah, mean, you kind of said it's like a, it's like a miracle. Like it that's is. remarkable, that's incredible. Yeah. I've been doing this work for over a decade and I'm blown away every day. Like I, it's pretty cool. My job is to sit and watch miracles every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, so before we run out of time, we want you to tell us about an event that you have yes. coming up here pretty soon. Yeah, so um, Lakeville Rotary, amazing. They are hosting our first Run for the Roses gala at Brackett's Crossing, April 20th. And it's going to be filled with first responders. Um, awesome. We're going to have a horse there, two of our horses there, and lots of bourbon and roses and wonderful people. And some so. mint juleps, I'd imagine. Yes, lots yeah. of mint juleps. mint juleps. Did I see you got Paul Allen coming yeah, out there? Yeah, and PA's coming. He's very involved in he, Canterbury and yeah, stuff, Yeah, he's so. a dear friend. I love him so much, so grateful to have him. Well, thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank y'all yeah, for thank having you. First responders. Yeah, yeah. Sally, appreciate it. You can learn more about Abijah's and their upcoming gala by heading to our website at minnesotalive.com.